Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about some new Windows 11 25H2 features that have been announced by Microsoft on the Dev and the Beta channels of the Windows 11 Insider program. And in this video, we're going to talk about the new File Explorer context menu, the new File Explorer preload feature, and also the new point in time restore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable these features if you don't have them rolled out to you on the latest Dev or Beta channel builds. And also, we're going to showcase everything that there is to all these new features. So if you enjoy videos like these in which I show you how to enable different Windows 11 25H2 features, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future authors like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, to be able to enable this, you're going to have to be at least on the build that I'm going to show you right now, which is the build 26220.7271 for version 25H2 on the dev or on the beta channel at the moment. Now to enable these features, we're going to have to use Vive tool, which will allow us to manually enable those features if they're are not rolled out to us. And we're going to have Vive 2 in the article below in the video's description. Just make sure to get the latest version.zip and then you can open it up using the file explorer. Once opened, click on extract all. Here, click on browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have a folder created in this PC, local disk C, and also hidden features. You can create this folder yourself. Click on select folder and also copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands. Now let's click on extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination and we are good to go. This is how easily you can set up Vive tool on your computer. Now let's start to enable these features. Open up the search box, tap in here CMD, and in the right side, click on Run as Administrator, and on your account control, click on Yes. Inside CMD, type in first of all CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool. And we're going to run a few commands to enable these features. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com for providing the IDs and information about these new features. Make sure to follow him from the pinned comment below. First of all, to enable the new context menu, we're going to have to type in Vive tool slash enable slash ID and then this ID and then press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and to enable the new preload feature inside the file explorer we have to run this ID and again you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and finally the last command is this one with two different IDs which will enable the new point in time restore feature that you can find in Windows 11 25 H2 on the dev or on the better channels every command from here will be in the article below in the video's description so just get them from there without having to pause the video or anything. Now let's exit out from the CMD and restart our computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, if we're going to open up the file explorer, first of all, you're going to notice that the context menu is now way smaller. If I were to right click on a file, you may notice that the context menu is now way, way smaller and it will include this new option manage file, which as Microsoft is stating, will include the options that users are not using as often as the others. So we're going to have the compress to option, the copy as path, the rotate right or left for photo of course, and also set as desktop background. And also certain sections of the context menu have been changed. As you can see, the context menu looks way more minimalistic right now. I think I like this. And the fact that under manage file, you have all these options. I think it is pretty cool and pretty useful. Another thing that you have to be aware of is that Microsoft is now preloading the file explorer in the background so that the startup of the file explorer will be faster. A lot of users have complained over the years that the Windows 11 file explorer is pretty slow, especially on startup. So now Microsoft will start to preload it inside the operating system before opening it up. So it should be faster whenever you are opening it inside Windows 11. And also there's a new option that allows you to disable this new change. If you don't like it, just go on these three dots, then click on options. And then on view, you're going to have here this option, enable window preloading for faster launch times. So you can disable this if you don't want it, but I think this is a plus, so I would leave it enabled. So this is pretty much it related to the file explorer. Now let's move on to the settings app. In the settings app, if we're going to go to system and then scroll down a bit and then go to recovery, you're going to notice that below here, you're going to have this new option point in time restore. Turn point in time restore on or off and manage restore points to restore your PC to a previous state. This is basically a rebrand of the old system restore. And if we go in here, we're going to have a lot of options that we can use to customize the point in time restore. So we can turn it on. Of course, here we can change the restore point frequency. As you can see, we have a few options, the restore point retention, how long should the restore points be saved on your system and also the maximum usage limit of your disk where everything will be saved in terms of restore points. And basically, whenever you're going to want to restore something on your system, you're going to have to open up the Windows recovery environment and there you're going to have an option, the point in time restore to restore all your restore points. I think these new features that have been added inside Windows 11 are pretty useful and hopefully they'll come soon also on the main release of Windows 11. Don't forget that in the article below, we're going to have everything that you need, Vive tool and also 
all the commands that I've used. And again, a huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zimani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.